It's called Smut. Give me smut and nothing but. A dirty novel I can't shut if it's uncut and unsut. Tall. I've never quibbled. If it was ribbled, I would devour where others merely nibbled. As the judge remarked the day that he acquitted my Aunt Hortense, to be smut, it must be utterly without redeeming social importance. Poor, the graphic pictures I adore. In decent magazines galore, I like them more if they're hardcore. Bring on the obscene movies, murals, postcards, neckties, samplers, stained glass windows, tattoos, anything. More, more, I'm still not satisfied. <laughs> Stories of tortures used by debauchers, lurid, licentious, and vile. Make me smile. <laughs> Novels that pander to my taste for candor give me a pleasure sublime. Let's face it, I love slime. All books can be indecent books, though recent books are bolder. For filth, I'm glad to say, is in the mind of the beholder. When correctly viewed, everything is lewd. I could tell you things about Peter Pan and the Wizard of Oz. There's a dirty old man. <laughs> Will and really fill the who needs a hobby like tennis or philately. I've got a hobby, rereading Lady Chatterley. But now they're trying to take it all away from us unless we take a stand and hand in hand we fight for freedom of the press. In other words, smut, I love it. Ah, the adventures of a slut. Oh, I'm a market they can't glut. I don't know what compares with smut. Hip, hip, hooray. Let's hear it for the Supreme Court. 